Okay, now that you know a little bit about layers and how to manage layers, um, I'm going to go ahead and move to the next step, which is actually bringing in other images into Photoshop. That's really where it kind of gets exciting. You can borrow and pick from other people's work and kind of include that in your, comp in your compositions to make some really interesting digital collages, if you will. Okay? So first, let me go ahead and um, create a new la layer that I'm going to have above my other layers. Okay? I can do that again just by clicking on the little link down below here that says create a new layer. Right? Um, or I can go to layer new layer all right go ahead and click OK and you can see I've got it on the top over here alright so most places where people go to get images is online so I'm gonna go right into Firefox and um, what I did here to find this image was I just typed into uh, the Google images um, sunflower actually let me go ahead and make a new tab so I can still keep that and I'll go to sunflower again And right away, I notice I've got some different image results, okay? I can click just on images, and it'll show me those results again. And you can see, for instance, in an image like this, it's kind of interesting. It tells me what the dimensions of that image are. So right now, I can see 400 by 300. This goes back to our discussion about aspect ratio. It tells me how big that image is, okay? Um, I can even search for just large images. Just remember, if you start with a very large image, chances are you're going to have to resize it before you bring it into your composition. And let me just show you how to deal with that. All right. So right here, I'm going to launch this, and sure enough, there's the picture again that I was looking at originally. Okay. To save this to my file, I don't just want to click and drag it, All right, because that's not necessarily going to do it. Instead, if in Firefox, if I control click down, I can say save image as. That is actually going to be the best way to save the source file of that image. A lot of times I'll rename them as well. I don't need Louisiana in there. If I just call it Sunflower, I'll remember what it is. And notice that this file is a PNG file. That's okay. I can use J JPEGs, GIFs, PNGs. That's fine. So I'll go ahead and hit save. All right, and now I'm ready to go back into Photoshop, okay? Now, how do I get that image into Photoshop? Well, all I have to do is say File, Open, or you'll notice Apple O, okay? This will allow me to open up my images, and here it is, Photoshop PNG. Now, I open it, and it's not in my other composition. It opens it up as its own Photoshop image, okay? Now, I can go and check how big this image is by going to Image, Image Size, right? And this tells me that, oh, look at this. My width is at 1,024 pixels wide, and my height is at 768. I know that this is actually bigger than my digital video image, right? Um, which below this uh, was 720 by 480. So if I want to make this fit, I'm probably going to have to change my width to at least 720, okay? And the height, I can get away with cu cutting some of this out, so that's all right. I'm just going to go ahead and make it small, a little bit smaller, all right? Now, I want to copy that over to my other image. So what do I need to do? Well, first I have to select it, okay? I could select it using the marquee tool, which would go like this, right? And select that part of the image, okay? Or if I hit Apple Deselect, select just the part of the image I think I'm going to use, which is like this part right here, okay? Or I could even just say select all, which would select all the image. All right, I'm going to deselect again. And I think I'm going to go back to my first idea of just taking out, or selecting just the part of the image that I want. Okay, so I'm going to take this part. Now, just like in a Word document, if I say edit, copy, okay, I've just placed a copy of that um, to be ready to be pasted in. Now that I've copied it, I can just close it. I don't even need it. I, I can say don't save. I already have the source image, right? I could always go back to if I needed to. And now that my layer 3 is selected, I'm just going to go ahead and say edit paste or what would have been Apple V. And look what happens. Here comes my image right into my composition. If I played around with the layers, the organizing of the layers, see again, because they're separate layers, I can organize it so that my image is below the other images, right? Be set behind them. And that easily, I can bring in multiple images into my Photoshop composition. So what I'd like you to do right now is go and find a couple images that you're going to try to blend together in Photoshop. All right, um, at least three to five. 
Okay, and then go ahead and get those in on separate layers, and then we're going to start to play with blending those images together.